Get him, get him, get him. Hey everyone, this is just a quick video I wanted to throw together from an amazing night of gaming in the dungeons. My usual team was offline, so I hit up the gathering hall and these guys invited me to play with them. We ran the BBC team comp, which is Barbarian Bard Cleric for those of you who are unfamiliar with that acronym. The strategy with this comp is to turn the Barbarian into a ball of buffs so that they can just steamroll through anyone and everyone in their path. In other words, both of these fine gentlemen kept me alive while I goofed around with the felling axe and viking sword. This was all recorded the night before the unemployment rankings went live, so everyone was juiced to the gills in normal lobbies. We had a ton of great fights, we extracted with some really amazing gear too. So I hope you enjoy the show. That was our first big fight as a team, so it was pretty rough, and we were still figuring each other out. We saved homie's kit though, and we were all down to keep the buff ball rolling. That's quite big. You got it all? Alright, yeah, yeah, I got it. If you have to fight a demon berserker, and you eventually will if you decide to take a red portal, your best bet is to jump up on something like a standing torch, chest pedestal, or even a healing shrine. That breaks their AI, and you'll be able to cheese them while they just stand there looking at you. But if you feel like losing your kit, you can always try to dodge their attacks like I'm doing here. The trick is to crouch down, stay close, and move back and forth into their attacks. If you do it right, they'll miss every time, and you'll be able to get free hits off in between their combos. If you're not a god gamer, I'd really recommend having a cleric healing you while you try to learn this technique so that you don't get sent back to the menu. The demon centaur is actually way easier to fight compared to the berserker. All you have to do is crouch and look down whenever they attack while trying to stay slightly to the left of them. It's the exact same technique that you would use to fight wraiths. <laughs> 
Those guys didn't have any good loot that time, so we reset to get on with the next game. He didn't do any damage with that at all. This is the ranger. The ranger didn't the ranger do any damage. Crossed. The ranger's not doing any damage at all. <laughs> that has to break his fucking heart. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Watch out, Clay. I mean, watch out, Bart. Back up, back up, back up. He's blocking my fucking heel. Kill him. For the love of God. Back up. These guys were really decently geared, and I was honestly terrified when I realized it was two barbarians and a bard. As a barbarian, the scariest enemy to run into is another barbarian, let alone two. A fight with another barbarian is usually decided by just one missed attack or heal. In this case, I think we had the upper hand in one because of the insane heals our cleric was pumping out. They were going to hell for sure. They were 100% going to hell. He actually had some decent uh, plate armor. DTV. Dude, how many campfires did they fucking need? With all the new barbarian gear that was donated to me, it was an easy choice to dip out of this one instead of going deeper. Look at my inventory, bro. All the spiciest fights seem to happen right at the end of the match when there's barely any time to recover the loot and look for portals. But Oogle found us some dungeon portals to help us delay our escape.
Not another <laughs> In the distance, approaching fast. The devil's best friend with a ferocious grasp. No hope to last. Dodge the attacks and reveal the trap. Two taps to the dome, little doggy goes home. Find time to rest up, trying to heal me fast. Check out this chest, I see it again. Put that in my tab where my dealer ran. Mage taking a shot of fireball. I am next. Sticky situation, must have walked through. Spider web, focused on a team, then another one. 